Well, good day, everybody. Welcome back here to Frozen Valley and City Skylines, where today the valley actually is frozen. Wintertime has come upon us here, and we have to deal with these frosty conditions. But regardless of the cold, life will move on. Now, today, we have a lot of expanding to do. We just built the new university yesterday, and we need more students to fill it. We need a bigger city. So, I've gone ahead. Oh, boy. Everyone's cold. Okay, we'll deal with that in a second here. But I've gone ahead and I've set up this big road layout right here. Whole new area. So right here, there's a big park here, as you can see, and another national park over here. And we can start filling this in here as we go throughout today's episode. We'll have to just deal with problems and increase the population. But now, before we start building here, let's start making ourselves some nice districts here. This is a big rip Riverside district, so I think we're going to be really creative and call this one Riverside Park. And that one's going to be called Rosewood Hills. So, we are running a little bit short on money, but as people start to move in, we'll start to zone and zone a little more. The way where everyone's going to get into these two neighborhoods here, I've set kind of a, a greasy looking partial clover leaf here this one's not as good because it's it you can't really tell here but here if i pull up this height map you can see this uh, interchange is on a bit of a hill so we've really had to work around that in setting everything up here but we can set up a bunch of housing start having people move in a little bit and that should work out nicely for us now but now with some of that zoning in here right here we're going to put a park to encourage people to start moving in here now this is rosewood hills and we're going to make it so they prefer parks as well which uh, it will increase land value around parks and really help people start moving in. So we'll put a little park in here. Okay, that little park is in there. People will start moving in around here. We'll allow for services as, as they're required. As you can see here, this area is noted off as Frozen Valley National Park. And we have this little entrance right here into the National Park here. We're going to start... I'm going to... I don't think we're going to have any fences around here. We are going to have some nice pathways walking all up and around this hill here. And down here might have some plazas and stuff. Places to walk along the river. But we'll set up a couple pathways here. It should be pretty nice walking. Alright, we've got a nice complex network of walkways in the national park there. Should be really popular among the people. It's quite a nice place to walk. It's kind of hard to tell as the sun's starting to go down, but I'll show you guys back when I guess the daytime. But okay, we'll leave that park alone for now. To spur some people to move into here, we should really start thinking about another industrial area. And maybe right here on this side of the river would look nice. Maybe it wouldn't look nice, but it would be functional. Or if we continue this four lane straight up in here and we maybe put a nice logging area up there. I think that's, or not a logging area or mining area up here. I think that's a good idea. That would spur some people to move in here. I also do think that our university team is going to need a basketball team. So we'll spend literally the entire town's budget on this stadium <laughs> so now what if we what if we took this out brought this up here i think this yeah we could build up here build a nice industrial area it would kind of run on the same road system right here might get really really busy here but we'll we'll see what happens okay this little road area should do nicely we got to set out a little industry area up here and we just got to plunk down our main building here so this is now underhill reef uh maybe we'll call it underhill mining this is now underhill mining so there is one little mining site here just getting started now i'm gonna hike up taxes so we can just make this area huge we'll just wait till people start to complain again see how long see along if it if they're 29 everything's all the way up how long do you think it'll be till everyone starts to complain about taxes oh now we got some complainers okay well there you go we just made a hundred thousand dollars just by cranking up taxes for a couple seconds there we go they're much happier now okay we now have a bunch of money to set up this uh mining area these guys are gonna set off here uh i'm going to alter some of our public transit so i actually can favor those guys a little bit okay there's some busing to this area and that should make a uh, much higher demand for people moving in now. I will do a whole bunch of zoning up in Rosewood Hills here and then we can let people start moving in. Okay, lots more zoning for them to fill in. And we can kind of wait for the to get going here. We just need to produce a whole bunch of resources and then we just need to create a whole bunch of resources then we'll get the next level of machinery and we can keep expanding this. Create a whole bunch of jobs. And there we go, they're about to tick over 500. There we go. Now we can increase workers, efficiency, 
could put in some steel, some glass, and we can make some bigger ore mines. So we're going to spend a fair amount of money expanding this. Ore mines. All these ore mines in the hills. There we go. We got a boatload of ore mines. Uh, once we make some more money, we can add some more processing plants and such. Because right now we're just creating metals. And what else can we be creating? I'm sure more than that. Yeah, we could be making glass. And right now we're not storing any of that that we need. And over here, I think we'll plop down our first glass manufacturing plant right there and we'll let this area keep working there's a whole ton of mines here mining ore for us so these things should start cruising away to keep uh, the vast majority of these trucks off the road i'm going to hook it up to this railway which should just really reduce uh the amount of traffic problems we're gonna have because this intersection is going to easily become overloaded if i add another large source of traffic in there okay and that Mining area has already reached level three, so we can set up bigger mines and such. Set up a couple of these large plants here too at the base, which should make us large amounts of metal. They're all in the hill here, taking a chunk out of that hill with this mining operation. Gonna be a big row of mines here too. If it mines in there. Tons upon tons of mines. So just like so, they'll start coming in. Okay, and with that, we've set up a pretty darn massive industry area here. This train station looks to be pretty busy too. Yeah, tons of miners everywhere. Everywhere we can fit them, we've got a miner. Looks like this thing's keeping up with traffic half decently so far. Uh, we'll come back to that and look, but I think this train here should really be helping us. Okay, so underhill mining is basically done at this point. So while we're waiting for them to keep shipping out, let's go check out Rosen Valley National Park. It's almost up to that 500 mark. No, I just had a look over here. As this uh, area expands here, all it really needs to do is make more resources and it's doing that pretty quickly. But we also have access to a whole bunch of factories here. So the industrial steel plant, that could go up here if we could fit it anywhere. Oh, right there. Massive industrial steel plant. So this will turn the steel we're making here into steel products, which we can sell again for more money. And we also had the furniture factory, I think it was. Yes, which can turn our wood products into furniture basically we'll pull off that right there and that'll be making us money here too so we'll have lots of our exports going to here or to here combining it to going onto the trains so it shouldn't be too much coming out of either of these industrial areas it should mostly be residential on this intersection well with this new ore mining facility in place and starting to expand into rosewood heights there i think we've had quite a successful episode here now i forgot to mention it before but today's fish of the day is one of my flying foxes now there's seven of them so they don't have names but uh i'll show some videos of all of them they're pretty cool they uh they're just really playful and they uh, they're like little cleaning ladies they clean it up they're pretty nice so I really like having them in there, but uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.